Come on, girl. Come on. Here you go. Nice and easy. Good girl. God, I love her. I also added another little surprise. I like to have multi-species exhibits. Look at this. How great is that, huh? Yo, what's going on everyone? Ken in here, hanging out with Lagatha in her enclosure. And today I wanna to do some modifications to it. Uh, I just kinda keep an eye on her and I keep an eye on all my animals, which you guys should. And basically what I'm noticing is she loves to hang out over here in the shady area. She only comes out onto the branches early in the morning to sunbathe. And so what that tells me is that this lizard, since it's from a very jungle and rainforest situation, arboreal situation, wants a little bit more canopy. Now I'm trying to grow things up in here. We've got some monstera plant here. Hopefully that'll take over and get really viney. It's growing a lot. But what's gonna happen is we wanna create more of a canopy. So what I've done is I had all this bamboo. I had all this bamboo we cut down from over near the leprechauns, and I'm gonna nail it to the frame of the cage and it's gonna create a sunshade for her. I think she'll like this and I suspect that like most rainforest animals, oh, quick disclaimer, by the way, you may notice something about me that you uh, normally don't see. I uh, went to the uh, dermatologist and uh, I had a little bit of something shaved off my nose and uh, sent out for a biopsy, but that was just a formality. Um, don't tell anyone, but it was a wart. Yeah, had a little wart growing on my nose. Now, since I'm not looking to look like some kind of Hagatha the witch, uh, I said, hey, why don't you shave that sucker off and uh, whoop de doo So for my routine visit, they were able to slice it off. So I got to keep this bandaid on for a few days. Uh, but anyway, I guess I've been kissing too many reptiles. I'm starting to turn into one. You know, one of those reptilians that are secretly controlling the world in a vast conspiracy to undermine the populace of the United States and other governments. You know, the Illuminati. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, uh, get off the YouTubes for that conspiracy stuff. Uh, what I'm really doing is trying to make our reptiles here comfortable. So I've started to lay out some of the pieces here. And what I've noticed is I've got some long pieces here. We've got some short pieces here. So I'm gonna get up there and kind of do what I can for them. I really don't mind the jinky kind of uh, bizarro look that it's creating. It kind of fits into that whole rustic thing. So the next thing I'm gonna do, look at her sleeping. She doesn't even care that I'm here. Look at this. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna clean out the water bowl and I'm gonna weed whack in here. Now I'm sure she's not gonna appreciate that noise. After we're done with that, let's give her a treat. So she knows that I mean her no harm, but uh, yeah, there's my girl. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get to work up top and uh, hope you guys enjoy this little video, making Lagatha's home a little bit better. Update. If I were to screw every one of these bamboo pieces into place, it is going to take a lifetime. I don't have a lifetime. So I went ahead and got my compressor, my nail gun, thanks to my father-in-law. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this goes any quicker. Now, what I'm hoping is it doesn't blow all the way through these bamboo pieces, but we'll see. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> Getting back up there now, it's a little warm. Sure is hot inside of these rhinos.
All right, my people, I am uh, really psyched. I took a shower, cleaned up a little bit, but uh, we're done. Now check it out. You can see that's all I did is I added this bamboo. I think it looks really neat. It's very rustic and uh, you know, it's gonna provide enough shade that I think she's gonna venture out a lot more now uh, into the uh, the outside so she can kind of get dapplings of sunlight. There it is, it's not so pretty, but it works. Uh, it was just a quick fix, but I gotta be honest, I like, I like the way it looks. I uh, just had all of the misters going for the last 25 minutes. We got the water filled up and I also added another little surprise, which I think you guys will dig. And I like to kind of have multi-species exhibits. We're gonna see if our gal is feeling good right now. She actually did really well when I was weed whacking, which is neat, <clears throat> but let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, we got chicken, of course, but we've also got some elongated tortoises and they are doing exactly what I anticipated them to do. They are weeding. So I figure if I have a couple tortoises in here, then these guys will eat the weeds and maybe keep the weeds down. Uh, as you can see, when the water runs, there's plenty of water that collects. These guys will get to drink it. Look at this. How great is that, huh? Uh, they're large enough that she should not have any issues uh, with them. They won't have any issues with her. And I think it'll keep her company and keep her entertained seeing the tortoises walk around and eating all of these little weeds that pop up. So I think this is really cool. I may even add a couple more. The only downside is, guys, to be perfectly honest, uh, if they lay eggs, I don't think the eggs will last too long. So I'll have to keep an eye on it. But I do think this is really cool. Look at that. <clears throat> Eating the stalk and everything. So that could potentially be a really good help to me as far as making sure that the weeds stay down. Uh, I'm sure they'll eat some of this monstera a little bit, but here's the water. Uh, like I said, the water overflows. There's plenty of water uh, for the tortoises. I don't want them to really get in that. I may add another shallow water dish so that these guys can in fact uh, have something to soak in. Uh, and here she is. Now she might be a little bit upset because of all the loud noise from the weed whacker and stuff, but I uh, gotta be honest, really, really pleased. She didn't whip, she didn't get nuts. Uh, so it was really, really cool. All right, let's give her a treat. Um, again, working with her, <clears throat> I wanna kind of pull her out, kind of get her out into this area. So come on, babe. There you go, come on. Oh, look at this. Come on, let's go. Come on, Lagatha. And I'm talking to her. I'm going to let her know it's her name. She's obviously not coming because it's her name, but I want her to associate her name with a nice, happy feeling of getting some rodents or rather chicks, sorry, or whatever food item she might be looking for. Come on, girl. Come on. Here you go. Nice and easy. Good girl. God, I love her. Now I got to be careful. She's so close to me. I just want to be careful. Look at that. What a beauty she is. So for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I got Lagatha from a friend, Tyler Laughlin, uh, Lofton, who lives in Wichita, Kansas. And I plan on visiting him when I go to get the truck all dialed in in Idaho. So that's gonna be really cool. I wanna see how he keeps his croc monitors indoors. Plus he's got a massive black throat monitor named Shrek. And I really want to meet Shrek and his gal. So uh, you know I love monitors. Let's go ahead. There you go, sweetheart. And I really want to load her up with some food. I want her to associate this day with a nice memory of getting some food. So uh, he's the guy, I was telling the new viewers, that this is the gentleman who sent Lagatha to me because he wanted me to use her as an ambassador animal so people knew these are not disposable pets and they are dangerous lizards that require a large space, and they also require somebody who is ready to work with these amazing lizards. These guys are the pinnacle of keeping monitors, if you ask my opinion, because they have those large teeth and because they get large and they're fast and highly, highly intelligent. So let's see, maybe I can get her to do something else. Let's turn her around, huh? <clears throat> Come on, turn around. Now you can see just how mobile she is come on love come on love there you go that's a girl and again what i've been trying to do is to work on touching her and here we go oh little touch little touch do you see that curled tail 
that means she's not happy about that. So I want to listen to her, but I also want to test her. You know, I want to give her a little bit of food, a little positive reinforcement, I want to touch her a little bit, let her get used to me. Um, I'm not going to full on trust her because she is a wild caught animal. Um, you can see that one eye is blind, as we know, for those of you following the channel. But I just think you guys might enjoy what we're doing here. Let's see. I want her to kind of use her brain. Let's see if we can just keep this chick right there. Is it going to fall? Oh, it might fall. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I'm going to use my hands and keep it right there okay I want to see what she does uh, this is the fun part about owning monitors and when you have a large enclosure like this uh, you can see them working things out now does she want to go in the red bucket or does she want to kind of wander her way up here to get to her food let's see it reminds me of Jurassic Park when when he's talking about they have problem-solving uh, problem-solving intelligence which is cool now what's going on come here babe I got food for you I guess uh Maybe they don't have problems, so maybe she didn't see that. Look, do you want this? Do you want more? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here it is. Here it is. I really want to get her moving around. Come on. There it is. Look. There it is. Maybe if I back up a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll get another one and string her along here. Come on, laggy. So these lizards are truly amazing, though. Really beautiful arboreal animals uh, from Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. Um, they're just like I said, the pinnacle of monitor keeping. You're looking at one of the world's longest lizards. There's the Komodo dragon, which is the heaviest, uh, has the heaviest body. It's the largest lizard by mass. Uh, but then the croc monitor is actually considered the longest because um, they have that long tail that they use to balance themselves in the trees. I'll just make it easy for you. Come on. That's a girl. Nice and easy. So she's getting herself a nice feed today. I did some work. I'm happy with this. It's one of those things, guys. Oh, look at that. You see how the beak is kind of, she wants to angle that beak better. And you can see those teeth in there. I think you guys can make out those teeth. And you can see that her gums sometimes bleed as they are now because teeth are so long, they actually will cut the animal's gums from time to time. So how cool is that? That's a girl. That's a girl. One more time. Really take a look at those teeth if you guys can see them. Just a beauty. Okay. So again, guys, why'd I do this? What's the point? What are we up to? Well, the point is this. Uh, it's important to do maintenance. It's important to keep the environment uh, managed, manageable because this is a dangerous animal. I wanna know where she is. I need to keep things weed whacked. I also wanna listen to her. What's her behavior telling us? Um, you know, when she's staying up here most of the time, we have her out. I had her out in a very sunny area, uh, but this is an animal that lives in rainforest and the canopy. Um, so I'm guessing similar to the elongated tortoises that live in a forest situation, she may want to bask through dappled sunlight. So I really think this is going to cut down on some of that sunlight. It's really going to give her an opportunity to move about more, uh, in more comfort for longer periods of time, uh, throughout the day. Because I will see her in the morning, she comes down, she does try and dig. So it's important also, guys, if you're going to keep this type of animal, to make sure that you have a some kind of underwire uh, that will certainly keep them from digging out because they are powerful animals, very smart, and will look for weakness uh, anywhere they can in their enclosure. <clears throat> and I love her. I'm really happy with this lizard. This is just an amazing gift. So I want to share this gift with you. It is Lagatha, the crocodile monitor. All right.
very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoy uh, spending time with my animals and spending time with you guys. And I've got to say thanks, man. You guys have been kicking butt. The channel is going off right now. I know we got a lot of new viewers. Uh, thank you for joining me here. Uh, it's much appreciated. So guys, share the videos if you enjoy them, if you enjoy learning about these lizards, uh, these reptiles that I keep. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy time with your animals, whatever kind of animals you have. And uh, that's it, man. Cool. We're doing good. We got warts burned off today. We got lizards fed. We got weed whacking. We got bamboo put up and tortoises moved in. I'd say it's a win-win situation all around. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with some shots of Queen Lagatha right there on her porch. See you guys.